Taking a ride out here by, uh, well, we're out by uh, Edmonton, Alberta area, heading out towards, well, St. Francis, uh, Telfordville, Strawberry Creek, zipping down through the Genesee Bridge area. Uh, for you guys that are local, that makes sense for everybody else in the world. Not a clue. That's okay. It's 30 degrees, well, 29. Uh, no wind. It's hot. It's beautiful. Loving it. Loving it. And uh, I just thought I would do a little moto blog and and uh, you know it's all about what Jesus is doing. And as you guys know, for those that are subscribers and for those that tune in. Uh, it's an opportunity to get a little bit of Word of God in and, uh, and motorcycle at the same time. That might be a passion of yours. It looks like a few subscribers of mine are Triumph riders. And, uh, but hey, we, we like Goldwing riders. We like Harley riders. We like Honda riders. We're not too picky. As long as you ride your own ride. So Memphis Mike would say, ride your own ride. So, back in the day, 60 years ago, or maybe 50, you know, the old family would sit around the radio. That guy's got some nice hay. They would sit around the radio and the whole family would do that probably one or two times a week and listen to a, a show. Um, and then, then, the TV came out. And all of a sudden, nobody was sitting around the radio anymore. They were, they were going and watching TV. So they went from basically a one dimension entertainment life when it comes to the radio to the TV, which was where they could see with their eyes and hear with their ears. All of a sudden they were in a two dimension. And you know what? When we look at this with scripture, we're moving into a whole different dynamic. And we should be moving in a whole different dynamic because if we're still stuck in the old, you're just hearing the word. And um, hearing the word, reading the word, and it makes you feel good. Then you're kind of getting gypped. But the but the scripture said in a couple places, but I'll I'll throw up the scripture, is that there's also power. So not only is there the word, spoken word, but there's also the manifest word. So when we look at our church today, you know, if you go to church and you just hear a good sermon and you go home, 
that's one thing. But if you go to church, hear the word, and you see an illustration of God's power, you see blind being healed, and you see deaf people being healed, and you see the crippled walk. And there's prayer in your church. After the sermon, there's opportunity for people to come and get prayer. That's now working in power. And you know what? There's a little bit to be said about that. If you're a, you're a hockey fan, or maybe better than that, let's go, you're a football plan, fan. Okay, let's better than that. Let's say you are a football fan, a soccer fan. That's a little more world renowned soccer, which is football for those of us who are outside of North America. If you only read about how to play football and you only heard on radio the game from the announcer and if you only watched it on TV how to play football and you know everybody's name you know everybody's position you know when the ref messes up you know what the goalie should have done can you call yourself a hockey player now I'm not talking salvation I'm just talking about getting the fullness out of your out of what's available to you now compare that to you actually doing all those things but you actually get a pair of runners a pair of shin pads and you get a ball a soccer ball or a football and you go out and you join a team and now you get out there and you actually play football. You seeing where I'm coming from? There's a lot of churches that do all the three. Very good. And it makes you feel good, it makes you feel justified, and, and you should because you are justified. But I'll tell you, there's a whole other step. And that whole other step is you strapping on the equipment and you get out and you actually play that game. You actually kick that ball around. You actually get slammed into the into the goalpost. You get kicked in the shin. You hit the ball with your head. Two different things, isn't it? And that's what it's like in church. I, I'll tell you, I'm not going to speak against churches, but if your church is only doing the, the seeing and the hearing, and there's no power, there's no doing, I mean, what good is an apple tree if there's no apples that get produced? It might as well just be a, a, a poplar. Now, I'll tell you, you're going to see poplar trees in heaven. Not saying you're not. But I'll tell you, you're going to have a lot more rewards if you're an apple tree. I like apples. Anyway, so I encourage you to look for a church that will help you and disciple you in how to pray for people, how to... to everybody has giftings. There's many scriptures, and I'll put them on uh, just where to look on where the giftings of, of that you get. When you become a Christian, and you have the living God in you, you have gifts, and those gifts are for you to use.